Welcome to this e-learning video for the alignment of a free flight rapier machine. Warning! Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. You can use this tip and trick to make sure that your thickness plates are placed correctly. Use a strong magnet to pull the thickness plates up. We don't want the plates to drop down completely, so we are able to set the oil guides against the cooling blocks later on. This because we can use these oil guides as a reference point if we change the rapier wheel. Place the cooling block up and hand tighten. Place the rapier wheel back and hand tighten the clamping piece. Make sure you don't tighten too much, the rapier wheel still has to be able to turn. Use the part with the square holes in the gauge to set the height. Place a full piece of the rapier wheel in the center of the gauge, so you are sure there is no bending possible. Place the gauge in the machine and let the cooling block rest on it. Make sure the cooling block is placed in the middle and hand tighten. Torque the bolts on a value off 80 Newton meter. After you torque the bolts we do a final check, so the gauge should be able to move, but there cannot be too much play. Torque the rest of the bolts on the cooling block with 10 Newton meter. Just like on the top make sure you use the square holes on the gauge to set the height of the cooling block. Place the gauge into the bottom cooling block. Push the cooling block softly up against the gauge and tighten the bolts. Now check if the gauge can move smoothly, but there is not too much play. It is possible that you will have to do this a few times until it is perfect. We also recommend to check this at minimum 4 places on the rapier wheel. Torque the bolts on a value off 80 Newton meter. Make sure that the hoop support is in the center of the cooling block and hand tighten. Place the side guides back on the cooling block. Make sure you don't mix the top and bottom side. Push the side guide to his maximum inner position. Don't forget to torque the bolts on a value of 10 Newton meter. Loosen the bolt of the oil guides and push them against the cooling blocks. Hand tighten the bolts. Do this for the top and bottom oil guides. 
the position of these guides can be used as a reference point to set your cooling block back, if you should ever have to remove them. Or when you have to remove the rapier wheel. Place the rapier guide back on the machine. Put some Loctite 243 on the bolts and hand tighten. Thank you for watching. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.